lot of municipalities in the area are trying to create a main street, but we've had ours since the 1800s. As early as the 1820s, settlers began building a community known as Walker's Grove along the DuPage River in Illinois. Today, this area, about 40 miles southwest of Chicago, is the village of Plainfield. For most of its existence, Plainfield was a small, rural community. But over the last two decades or so, it experienced an explosive growth in population. It's really, really changed. I mean, most of this was farm fields and pastures, but uh, now, now out, like Route 59, right outside the door here, is uh, probably 30 to 40,000 cars a day. So, quite a change. Unfortunately, many of the buildings on Lockport Street, the historic center of town, had fallen into disrepair. To revitalize the area, the village created a plan to make these storefronts a destination for shopping and dining. This is the crossroads of Route 66 and the Illinois Lincoln Highway, and to have a building right on that crossroads was really exciting for me. The village completely renovated the street, widening sidewalks and adding light fixtures, signs, and planters for a cohesive look. They also created a program to subsidize some of the renovation costs for buildings on or near this section of Lockport Street. I've always been interested in historic preservation since I was probably in junior high school, um, and it was about that time that I got interested in Plainfield history. Michael Lambert runs Eris Architects. He worked on the renovation of many of the buildings, and he's also a local historian. So it's no surprise that his office is right in the heart of town. When we start a project uh, with, that involves windows in a historic building, uh, we often call our Marvin uh, sales representative right away, talk about the project with uh, her, and uh, try to see what the correct match of, of products would be, what we're thinking, what our historic photographs and historic evidence is telling us, and then uh, also look to see what the newest innovations are from, from Marvin so that we really start thinking about the windows at the very onset of the project. Marvin products were used in many of the buildings in the downtown district, including the striking Masonic Block Building. The building had been uh, remodeled many different times, and the upper floor had been filled with glass block windows that the glass block was actually starting to uh, fall out of the openings. We wanted to meet the original architect's uh, design intent for the upper windows, um, and those windows were a combination of double-hung windows and awning windows. So we worked with Marvin's architectural department to work with the special sizes and the coordination of all of the details to make all of those windows fit together to um, match the original openings, um, not only in the large uh, masonry openings, but also in the openings around the tower windows on the, on the corner that projected over the street. And uh, we were able to make those all fit together using uh, the, the, the various products that Marvin provides. Although Lockport Street is not an official historic district, architects were careful to renovate buildings with low maintenance and energy efficient materials without sacrificing historical character. The Finnegan's Pub building uh, was in really bad shape. They had um, enclosed the storefront with glass block. It looked abandoned, it hadn't been painted. The roof had actually partially caved in and was being temporarily supported. So um, it was just really a shell of a building that uh, was really in jeopardy of being lost, actually. We wanted to have that feel of the historic storefront. We didn't have a lot of options to make the windows um, as large in wood um, from just any manufacturer, so Marvin was able to meet the size requirements that we had and the strength requirements that we needed along the street and still replicate the, the details of the historic storefront. But on the second floor where the owner desired to have a little less maintenance, we uh, used the clad uh, products from Marvin Windows and uh, have a seamless uh, project that uh, really looks very unified. Because we've worked with Marvin Windows for so many years, I have found their sales uh, staff and the technical support to be incredibly uh, supportive of architects, and so I appreciate that. We've uh, had a good experience with them, a good relationship, and our clients seem to be very happy with the performance in the long run. The change here is truly dramatic, and it's clear that Lockport Street is once again the center of the community. It's kind of nice to walk down the street and be able to see um, that you can do something to, to uh, make where you live a better place. It's really uh, gratifying to see this and everyone that was involved in the renovation of Lockport Street is real pleased to see how it turned out. <laughs>